Okay guys, welcome to your um, energy check-in for the uh, month of your July 2024. You can apply this to any of your placements. We are going to take a look and see what is uh, going on with you guys in uh, July, over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations, okay? Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you need to take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective cancer people, not tapping into to one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys. And then, oh, what am I talking about? <laughs> so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, tell me about Cancer. Energy checking for Cancer. Over energies for Cancer for July 2024 for cancer, for cancer. Talk about cancer here for July 2024. So we have the Eight of Swords here and the Queen of Wands, Aries, Little Sagittarius energy. During this time, cancer, I feel like you have a lot on your mind, okay? I do feel like perhaps you have a lot of ideas that you want to pursue here. And I feel like you might be in this energy of like, you know what? I have a lot that I want to accomplish. I have a lot that I want to do. But I feel like it's important for you to do one thing first, accomplish that, and move on to the next thing here. Because I feel like mentally you guys are getting overwhelmed. Or that you guys are doing so much at one time that you guys are not accomplishing anything. So take your time, do one thing at a time, and then move on to the next thing here, okay? With the Hierophant, the High Priestess. Cancer Pisces. Hierophant Taurus energy here. Queen of Swords here and the Nine of Wands. I also feel like this is a time to really look within yourself and take care of yourself at this time here, okay? I do feel like some of you guys could be in this energy of avoiding your own healing here at this time. Avoiding healing your traumas and your pain and your uh, suffering here. So I feel like it's important for you to connect with yourself at this time and move or heal whatever you need to heal in order for you to move on here because I feel like you might be feeling stuck here too with the Eight of Swords. You know, some of you guys could be ruminating about, you know, the same events that has happened over and over and over again in your life and that you're having a hard time moving on from it. All right, tell me about the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? The Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords and the Justice card. Tell me the uh, uh, Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands and the Ten of Wands. I feel like you guys are about to go through a huge karmic release here in July. A major karmic release here. Uh, karma that you've been holding on to for a very long time, even past life karma could be uh, at this time be, uh, is being released here. You know, as you're going through this karmic release, you know, you're also not just helping yourself, but you're also hel helping your ancestors and your family here too. You know, I feel like at this time during July, I feel like you guys are going through like a huge, huge, huge major epiphany here because I feel like you realize that whatever you have been through here, it's it, it was really difficult functional. It wasn't really, it was your normal, but you realize that it was not a normal a thing that, you know, most people go through here, you know, and I feel like you're trying to transmute and transcend this energy here with the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Here's the thing. I feel like your happiness and your fulfillment and your joy is within reach here, okay? I do feel like, you know, there could be someone in around you that you could have been dealing with romantic that could have triggered this, this, karma or this trauma to come to the forefront here to cut it so so that you can face it here okay what else do we have for, for cancer what else does cancer need to know look out for work on for the uh, rest of uh for july 2024 for cancer so cancer we have the nine of pentacles here and the five of cups nine of pentacles yeah i feel like the longer that you hold on to this energy the longer that you will continue to suffer here. You know, I do feel like a huge wave of grief is being released here, okay? A huge wave of trauma, 
karma is being released here and you feel like you guys might go through a period where I feel like you know there could be you know like I said emotions that could be bubbling up to the surface that you guys haven't dealt with in a long time and you feel like this is coming up this is rising up to the surface here okay so with the king of pentacles here and the full king of pentacles Capricorn Taurus so we're going to the full uh, Aries I know you the four of pentacles here and the strength card you know one of the things I'm getting is that I feel like you're learning that being in a relationship won't save you from your pain and your suffering and your hurt and you realize that you're realizing that you have to do that yourself and not rely on someone else to do that for you uh, perhaps you guys heavily relied on other people here uh, for your happiness for your peace here and you're realizing that you need to find that on your own it took you some time here it took you a while to get to this point of this realization here but i feel like there is definitely an energy of you facing it and not running from it here the knight of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo the uh, page of wands aries Leo, sagittarius energy the king of pentacles the king of pentacles here king of pentacles and the death card scorpio energy the fool card and the five of wands the four of pentacles here and the two of cups in the uh uh uh, strength card here and the eight of pentacles so what we have here is i feel like you guys are going through a huge transformation here okay i do feel like some of you guys could be finally letting go of relationships that are not serving a purpose in your life that's creating more suffering in your life here you guys are definitely working on your self-confidence working and getting back on your own two feet here sort of like really working on finding yourself find your footing find your bearings again here okay but you know i do feel like there are certain relationships even romantic relationships that you're ending here so that you can be become the best version of yourself here basically you're letting go of the old you and you're stepping into this new you here yeah there is a huge wave of emotions you know huge wave of grief that is coming in and you feel like you guys are ready just to release that grief and no longer hold on to it anymore and a lot of this really goes back all the way to your childhood here with the magician gemini virgo and the queen of cups cancer scorpio pisces with the knight of swords you're, you're are in this energy of like you can do it you can make it happen sort of attitude here and i feel like you can't you know so i feel like you're in this energy of definitely manifesting a new reality for yourself any sort of indoctrinations here anything that you learn that doesn't fit you fit who you are as a person you're totally letting that go you're stepping into this new version of yourself you're doing things that are that's right for you not according to what other people expect of you here okay so you know i feel like you know yeah i feel like you're letting go of like the past here you're learning a lot from the past instead of living in the past here cancer okay yeah i just feel like you're no longer going to be stuck in the situation where i feel like things are not really going going anywhere and i feel like you guys yeah you guys are definitely having some sort of major breakthrough here you know being enlightened by this whole situation that you've been in here and just learning healing and growing and releasing so cancer i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below like this video share this video subscribe hit the notification bell i'll speak to you guys in the next one thanks guys bye